Не дал ворота поставить. У нас сейчас Абсукубу на фулл хп захилиса. Это было понятно уже. Блять, он... Нет, братишка, рефлект. Блять, все равно оглушение застало. Я же нажал портал. Зараза. Дакт, блять, проебанный седакт. Пиздец, вот такая же лучше падла. Это бы я сюда не дал. Наконец вам, блять. Пиздец. Бета бьет. Вот просто вдумайтесь, демон ебаный кое. Завар везение. Призвался демон, блять, и пиздит пета. Хотя должен был пиздить этого. Блять, он сейчас сукубу будет убивать. Пиздец. Блять. Хватит. Сука. Контроль дай ему сукуба. Спасибо. Ну, мне на руку. Я кдшки подожду. Подхилюсь маленько в пассивках хоть. На фул хп. Так, мне что надо? Мне надо, по сути... Инфернал? Ну ладно, похуй на инфернал. Вот здесь поставлю. Так, дам сейчас. Это Афлик, сука. Осуждаем Афлик. Фулы. Блять. Сейчас будет койл. Рефлект жму. Ну, 
окей. Следующий кто? Батю не дает сюда кинуть, конечно, пиздец. Каз бил с кубе, чтоб всегда ты не кинул, да ебать, это что? We'll get the upper hand on him. It is gonna go for the succubus with the portal opener. Got himself the uh, dark layer at the top of the uh, the yeah, sky yeah, and everything. Got himself a proper setup. The lava burst around the corner. For Corpus, he needs to make sure he, he doesn't get lattice sided by Dark Ron the entire time because he can just go for lava burst around the pillar with a ton of insta-cows. Got himself the, uh, the uh, well, I wouldn't say portal for some reason, but the totem. Big chaos bolt. Second bolt. Try to go for a kick. Does not connect. Actually, even had a reflect already. So just to make sure the kick does not go. What is that knockback? Was that thunderstorm? What was that just now? Didn't even... I didn't see animation or nothing. Just went flying. Chaos bolt off of the rune. Got us to the fence. Big ruination. Inferno bolts are falling. Huge setup potentially. A massive beats are coming down. Got us on the bolt at the ready with a totem. Try to see if he can yoink him back over. As Darkron got himself a little bit on the wall. A little bit of that survivability for Cobreds. That is a defensive being burned. If he wakes out for the dark pack. And he just gets a little bit of that flame shock lava burst combo. I think he might just have him. Succubus catches the guy halfway through. Does go for the knock. Wait, can you knock the succubus? Can you knock while mid succubus? Is that what I just saw? Got himself a bit of a reflect cannibal flying in, but Cobra still taking Man, a bit of damage. Man, you all will be against me. He's got the flame shock on the guy. He might be flying soul fire around the corner. Man just eats it and feels nothing from it. Just literally feels nothing about that one whatsoever. <laughs> as he got him some stormkeeper up and running with the random stormy elemental as well. Got a suck him as he needs to catch that guy around the corner with a quick CC Earth Elemental helping out for the bit of damage. The dark pack of the red is suck him as catching you. The lightning bolts went flying. Cobra is, is actually still kind of sort of behind on health. The shield is active. But he's a little bit behind on health. Trying to go for a knockback does not quite connect. Consider it to follow. Darkon takes a bit of damage, but he's fairly tanky. Vortical sent in. I think at a uh, grounding totem. It was grounding totem, but the light lights out around the corner for Darkon. He just needs to get the angle. Just to make sure he can maybe purchase this. That's going to be the reflect. Does get it off. And it's going to be cannibal to follow. Summoning up an extra pet available. As long as he can line aside, I think he'll be fine. Got himself a proper setup. Bloodlust to follow. Got himself the random element blast with a lava burst. And Zark Lair comes down. Wall up for Copas. As he got himself bolt one. Potentially bolt two. Maybe the chain of a bunch from here. As the line aside comes out, bolt still doesn't make it out of his fingertips though. But Dark on looking for a bit of recovery. Cobra is popping off the big heal. He got himself number wall, number big heal for a while. So Dark Pack is the only thing he's really got. Wall up for Dark on as he got himself a bit of a knock at the Cobras. Tried to go for a port, but the totem does hold him in place for a little bit longer. For Dark Horn, he just needs to get himself the Skykeeper. Couple of Earth Shocks, Lava Burst with the uh, Sky, uh, what is it, the Primordial. And I think he'll be solid. Mortical Ascent in, does get him CC'd super, super low with a Ruination as well as a uh, Overfeed on the side. That thing also does quite a bit of damage on its own. I think for Dark, maybe he can recover. Maybe he can come back here, try to set up for some Keeper. If only he had himself a proper setup with the, uh, like a Guardian. Oh, wait, no, he does have Guardian. Oh, I don't think he's gonna be able to get a Guardian going though. Got him some early blast. Is he alive? Somehow alive. Succubus catches you. Uh oh. Is this over? The Furnable is gonna do a bit of damage. Light lasso. Last second. Soul fire. Are you alive? <laughs> Dude, Shaman's survivability. It's kind of out of this world, man. They're actually kind of tanky. Look at that. And that's the crap down there with the ruination. Not much you can really do there. Yeah, I feel like it's a tough one. That is definitely a tough one. Unless you go for like a proper setup with the, uh, um, what's it? Unless you go for a proper setup with the Primordial. Yeah, that's rough. You can actually switch to hand shield for PvP. Yeah, that used to be a thing. It used to be a thing you had to do in order to even activate certain like stances or defenses. In the back of the middle, I didn't have extra grip, so a lot of players play with one uh, weapon and, or dual one-handed. Oh yeah, I guess it makes sense, honestly. I guess it makes sense. 
is it going to be a uh, succubus CC? Try to get himself a bit of a reflect. I don't know if he's able to reflect too many dots back at point, uh, part 24. But I think he actually did load him up. One bolt, second bolt to follow. Does that? I'm just cleaning the bolts on the pet as well as the warlock. The guy just taking this up as much as possible as yet another bolt is getting sent and flying. Should be able to get himself lots more procs with the pets. How many bolts do you have? Hold on. That's like three bolts in a row with a ruination, which is basically a bolt as well. How many bolts was that in a row? Hold on. It's just an insane amount of resources. Another bolt? This man just got so short for days. I, I feel like I need to count those bolts again. Like one by one. Like count Chocula style. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Is it going to be Yurim or Big Power Pap? One of the two boys. One of you got to go next. It looks like Yurim is going to be the boy. Dampening slowly climbing up to 28%. Could give him that on duel. Or I could just rush him. Steamroll him. Give Cobra, Baby, Ludwig, or News a chance to play potentially. Possibly. Maybe. He's honorable. Way too honorable. As we head on that 6 minute mark, 30% dampening. The arena, I think, is definitely helping Cobras here a little bit, though. Because the amount of room to kite, room for mobility, and set up the gate, set up the port, it has given them, like, a lot of work. A lot of... I'd say a lot of playground to work with. Honestly. Ring of Fire down, Mordekal sent in, got himself a fear, does get interrupted. Trinket out of your room though, so he's pushing that one a little bit early. Breath to follow, Polly right after, as the pet is also a CC, does get a kick. As the Polly is out, he could just have a proper go here. Honestly, could set something up off of the pet if he wanted to. Probus could go for a port as well. He got himself the uh, Pit Lord for the proc. But he doesn't really have much of a value on this, can go for a proper ruination. Got him to reflect, ruination to follow, doesn't get a damage. But it's going to be full touch of the magic. Everything is available for your room. Doesn't have the, the most amount of burn, but the touch of the magic is still a decent bit of damage. Wall out for Corbus. He is tanked up at the very least. If your room goes for a bit of cooldown reduction, get himself the touch of the magic back up. With the full burst and everything, I think he'll be in a good spot. Or the went in for... I think he tried to go for a full Infernal reset. Infernal Vestit. for a bit to try to see if he could dodge the pet. Nice and Infernal. Call if you're right after. Okay. He's still got Infernal sets, but that's a lot of damage. There's a lot of setup. Does go for a kick as he ring goes behind the pillow for a bit of a reset. And for Corbis, that is like... What is it? The shield back up. Chaos Mother available. The amount of demons this guy is summoning honestly feels like he's a demonologist at this point. Doesn't he? Full Arcane Surge. Touch the Imaginary. There's potentially a really good go here right now. Cobra is with the Reflect. Yurim actually reflecting some of his own burst back at himself. Got himself the altar to reposition. Got himself maybe potentially a big go. Spark damage. That is going to be a Dark Lane join in. Not really giving him too much opportunity to go for a bit of pressure. He's very aggressively beaming the guy down to the face every time he uses any aggressive damage. As a Mordekal comes out, fear to follow Icebuck right after as his buffs are getting purged back to back. As long as the uh, the Fell Puppy doesn't purge like an alter time from him, I think he'll be okay. Although I'm pretty sure it is like very, very, very random which buff is going to get purged by the pet at the very, at the very, very least. He's got himself a little bit of that shifty power. Hold his over for the distance. Bit of missiles with a reflect to follow, or if he joins in, trying to get a charge, trying to get the cleave, doesn't quite connect. <laughs> that pet doesn't really do anything anymore. I feel like it still can do okay, but <laughs> like that's a pretty consistent. Trying to go for the arcade sphere, not quite close enough. Mortical trigger to follow, kind of low. I think it's over for Yurim, unless he can get himself any kind of setup. He needs images. 20% DR from images will be huge right now. Trying to get a setup with the touch of the magic. Cobra is getting kind of low ish. Invis out for Yurim. He's playing super defense right now. Super defensive. Gate set up. Try to go long. Got his pet with him. Yurim also incredibly low. That pet is going to interrupt you immediately. No one, the pet at the very least. Got himself a shield. The pet tried to go for purge a little bit too early. That's going to be a port out of uh, Cobras. Yurim with the Nova does not connect. Got himself the uh, Ruination. That's going to be massive damage. Bolt does connect. You got himself a bit of a, a back blink to reconnect potential or reposition. Pop back. Well, that was is that a, a, is a mounted thing or is it a slayer? Sound on the pets. Mordekal has sent him. Charge right after. I'm trying to see if he goes for a thunder stomp. I think he is back on the slayer. I think he's back to that proper slayer. If only he had a blaze for that stun right now. That would have been so awesome. That's going to be a port out of Cobras. For Papa Pap, it's really going to come down to can he fight through him? 
the rest of the team. I'm pretty sure he has a chance versus Corbis here. But can he go versus Ludwig? Can he go versus Nuz? Can he go versus Corbis? I think if Nuz goes last, he might set a chance. Because I feel like a rogue is not going to be that bad. Feraldroid could be a lot of trouble, though. Feraldroid could be a lot. As he got himself a port, trying to get away. Morpez joined in. Corbis is trying to kind this out as best. Blyat, Quill ni hilno. Morpez is going three seconds. How long? Just trying to see if he can end it right now. He just did one more quick. Morpez, Morpez, Morpez. Oh, I just blaze stormed him. Just blandered the guy. And Cobra is up next. <laughs> News. I don't know how you can win this one here, unless Cobra gives you a proper honor duel. There's just no shot, and I don't think he's gonna ha let it happen. He got rally, that's about it. I don't know if he got offense. He just had to wait until everything was available. He had to play the long haul. Infernal coming in. Big Bonza fell. Immolate. Mordekor sent in. He has a rally, but like... <laughs> do you just send it? Do you just use it? Do you run? I think he's going to try to see if he can run. He is dotted though. Shadow Melt not available either. But at the very least, you're not out in the open. Get a blasted by a Warlock. Succubus catches you around the corner. Warlock closes that gap. And it's just gonna be lights unless new somehow comes out. Uh, there's no shot. There's no shot. He has a mother of chaos barreling down him while infernal keeping him extra warm. <laughs> Succubus whipping him into shape. And Cobra just casting conflagrations left and right. Big setup by Espeon though. He's got himself a proper go. Fade for a moment. Does get hit with a fear. Ruination. Got himself a disperse for this one. And that's gonna be the void rift trying to make his way over to Cobra. If he can avoid it, does get to avoid the void. Apparently you can avoid the void. More to call to follow as a fear locked down the shadow priest for a second. Cobra trying Trying to get aggressive he sees the dampening is very very high he can't really get a lot of healing so he has to take damage whenever he can and while he's controlled he's gonna try to establish more c and espion big cleave onto the uh, shadow priest he got himself another void torrent wall up for cobra he's got himself no interrupts for a second trying to shadow fury him down is gonna be able to get some damage in case but one he needs more bolts got himself reflect another bolt to follow he's got himself the pet joins in as well if that pet can get line of sight of uh espion Maybe he can get some damage. That thing is just rooted out, though. It has actually got the Shadow Priest on the ropes. Infernal Bolt to follow. Got himself a lot of pressure, a lot of damage into a quick interrupt as he's going in for Flash Heal at 51% dampening, though. I don't really know if he can heal anything here at all. Fear by Espeon. Catches him in a moment with another Void Torrent. He just needs another extra CC. Mortical for Cobra. He might just have to get hyper aggressive here. He can't do anything. Massive Burst. Chaos Bolt. Is that enough? Oh, it is enough. He had to get super hyper aggro. And it paid off, and I think he's just dead, right? Get to the dots, sitting down for food. He's got him some food. There it is, and that's gonna be C Mark, last man standing on team one. Ten minutes into that round. Dude, they should be in I think this is probably the longest match we've had so far on the beta. I mean, except when we got bugged out and stuff. But yeah, see if I can just gonna walk in and try to see if we can end the 54% dampening. He ain't healing. And see if I gotta go through him, Shada, and Yarim. So he's got a lot of a lot of homies to get through. A lot of dudes to get through. Wrath around the corner. Got himself dark pack. Polly to follow. See if I got himself a proper setup. He is going to come in a full arcane surge by the looks of it. Got himself with a go. He wants to see if he can maximize a mortal claw sent in. Does have a trinket ready. Reflect up and is able to reflect quite a bit of damage back at Seamark. Able to at least soften the blow, but it touches the magic. Full missiles. Everything is in. And that's going to be Spark. Barrage. It's over. Seamark was able to recover with a lot of cooldowns coming back to